look, we can go back and forth about the rules and whether or not uh, <laughs> this has crossed the line or not, but there's one guy who is an actual expert in this because he's the former uh, vice president of officiating in the NFL, now works as the rules analyst at Fox Sports, and it's Mike Pereira, and he is joining us right now to talk about uh, Mr. Garrett. Hey, Mike. Uh, Mike, welcome to TMZ Live. How are Live. you guys? We're, We're good, good to be with you guys. Good to be. Hey, uh, let's start out with this. We've been arguing, <laughs> should he be prosecuted? Well, I, I, you know, I think that's a legitimate question because it has happened in sports before, in hockey uh, primarily. Um, I, I think you look at it and say, he's lucky. I mean, he's actually lucky that he hit him in that part of the helmet that is padded, the bottom on the padding, because he doesn't create an injury. I, I think if you look back, like at the Albert Hainsworth situation, back in 2006, where he stomped on Andres Gerard's head. Um, you know, the, the decision not to prosecute, I think, came from the fact that the league took very strong action, cost him a lot of money, and therefore, you know, the people involved in the players union felt it was okay not to prosecute. I think here, the same thing is likely to pay, uh, play out, even though, you know, the fact was the the act itself was vicious, but it didn't cause an well, injury. I, I, so I, I got to ask yeah. you a question. I got to ask you a question. <laughs> How much money do you suppose uh, Miles makes a year? Well, I, I, I can tell you this, that he is going to lose. You're talking about he gets 16 checks. That's what he gets. Right. He gets one check for each game that they play, and he's going to lose a significant portion of that. And remember, this is only the minimum suspension. I, I think it's got a legitimate chance to go into next season um, after Roger Goodell meets with him. But he, he's losing a big chunk. Think of Vontez Perfect. I mean, he's got a 12-game suspension, so he's losing 12 paychecks. Um, it, it, it's a lot of money, depending exactly how the contract is uh, structured. So, yeah. but, but then it, what it means is somebody who makes a lot of money like that um, can avoid the legal system just because they're saying, oh, well, he I, I, lost a million dollars. But my, well, the, aside, the money aside, I mean, the, the biggest thing is that Mason Rudolph isn't going to complain, right? I mean, right. If, if Mason, that, that's just something, an agreement, the yeah. players, if he were to do that, that wouldn't look, other players would look at him a certain way, right? Yeah, I, I mean, look at, I think everybody wants to put this behind them. I mean, there, there's nobody that wants to drag this on any further than it has to go. And I think Rudolph's not hurt. He would be the guy, along with the Steelers, that would file charges. Um, it, it's, not, it's not going to get that to that degree unless they feel like the league isn't strong enough in their punishment. But they are. This is, you know, it's, people say to me, is this different from Vontez Perfect? It was at a football play versus a non-football play. And that's exactly right. It's a non-football act. And that's, that's why right. the league acted quick in 2006 and acted really quick in this one that just happened last night. This is fighting. This is kicking. This is but even beyond that, Mike, helmet. But, but even beyond that, Mike, I mean, fighting happens in, in games, but once you take the helmet off, that's why I think once you take the helmet off and use it as a weapon, now that's outside of football rules. Absolutely. And, and there's actually a specific rule to that that says you cannot remove yours or an opponent's helmet and use it as a weapon. And the penalty is 15 yards and automatic ejection. But I, I've actually never seen one in my time where I've seen players rip a helmet off and throw it, but I've never seen one used as a weapon as it was um, last night. So, yeah, no, it was uh, crazy. Crazy. It, it, was, it was absolutely insane, especially for us. We were packing. There's eight seconds to go. The game's over. We're packing <laughs> our bags. Thinking, How quick can we get to the airport? And then somebody said, fight, fight. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Troy and Joe and I are looking like, holy mackerel. Um, yeah, not just a regular believe. fight. Well, no, listen, Mike. I know, I know, uh, Mike, you guys got uh, more games coming up this weekend. Doubleheader, right? Um, Lions, Cowboys, yeah. and then Niners, Cardinals in the afternoon. So uh, right. I don't imagine that you'll have anything like that, but it'll still be exciting games. I, I don't imagine that uh, we will see anything like that. The league's made a strong statement. That statement goes toward the players also. They know the yeah. ramifications of it. So I don't think we'll see that again. Thanks for being with us, man. You okay, Mike. It. Thanks a lot.